Hello everyone, a very good afternoon uh, to all of you. I am Dr. Swati Verma and I am from Shekhar Hospital, uh, Lucknow. And uh, today and yesterday we had gathered for hands-on training uh, for C2 batch and ours is 105th batch. And we all have learned a lot here. So I have picked two topics to speak. So first of all, I will be explaining a bit about azoospermia. So as uh, Sir told us, azoospermia means the sperm count is zero. So in azoospermia, first of all, we will like to see the volume of the semen sample. So if the volume, ideally the volume should be more than 1.4 ml. But if the volume is low, then it's a matter of concern. So as soon as uh, we see that volume is low, ideally we should look for fructose and the pH of the sample which we have got. So as uh, if we look at the physiology, the seminal vesicle is responsible for fructose secretion and for making the pH alkaline of the semen sample. So if in case we find that fructose is also low and pH is also low, that means somewhere the seminal vesicle secretion is unable to reach the semen. So that means we have got an obstruction at the level of ejaculatory duct. So this can be one possibility that there is bilateral ejaculatory duct obstruction or another possibility might be that congenitally there is absence of the vas deferens. So these two possibilities we can consider if the semen volume is low, fructose is low and pH is low. Then how to differentiate between these two? So simply we can examine and if vas deferens is absent that means probably we are dealing with a case of CBAVD and if the seminal vesicles are dilated or ejaculatory ducts uh, more than 2 mm or seminal vesicles more than 2 cm on examination then most probably we are dealing with a case of bilateral ejaculatory duct obstruction because because of back pressure these things will be dilated. Otherwise, obstruction can occur at one more level that is at the level of epididymis but here since uh, seminal vesicle secretions already we are getting in the semen so that means the volume, fructose and pH will be normal but obstruction might also happen at the level of epididymis. So like this uh, by one more thing we can examine the testicular volume and uh, examination of the testicular volume can also tell about whether we are dealing with obstructive azoospermia or non-obstructive azoospermia. So if in case uh, testicular volume is low, that means we are dealing with non-obstructive azoospermia and if the testicular volume is normal, that means we are dealing with obstructive azoospermia. Also FSH and LH levels in non-obstructive azoospermia, we can get, we can get uh, high FSH levels and uh, normal or high LH levels and normal or low testosterone levels later on. So like these, uh, we can probably differentiate uh, the kind of azoospermia, non-obstructive or obstructive, simply uh, with the help of simple semen analysis parameters. That's all. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. So much. Thank you.